Susie and the Banshees, Spellbound. Susie and the Banshees are really good. I learned about them by someone I know, and I, 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 I love them. I honestly should have known about Susie before because uh, S S Susie makes music around the time, like, the time frame of music that I enjoy, English. That definitely was not how that sentence was supposed to go, but it's okay. Um, I like a lot of the music around the era she made music, so I'm surprised that I didn't know about her. Anyways, thank you uh, for, for, for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm gonna draw. It's been a hot second since I've done a drawing stream, but... Why not? I just gotta get my tablet and set it right in front of me. So I can get things set up. I got some... Oop. Tutorial. I have to also not hit my mic. I wonder if I can move my mic a little farther. Ooh! Okay, that's smart of me. Alright. I'm going to... Get myself set up. Move my stuff to the other monitor. <clears throat> that isn't my drawing monitor. I remember drawing streams. I know. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Um, I have some... I have a, a, a... Two hours of fresh Nintendo music I found in my fridge playlist. So, I'm gonna play that and we'll, we'll, we'll do some... we'll do some drawing some drawing let me know if everything's too loud too quiet whatever get set up on my end and here we go music can be louder okay so I'm actually already like halfway through this piece but the thing is, I wanted to work on it more today, and then I was like, well, I could just stream it since, like, today's not my day where I, I play, uh, like, Wind Waker, so I can just work on this on, on my stream. And I was like, okay. I promise I'm not becoming a Vocaloid-only streamer. I swear. I'm just living my life over here. I also have a smudge on my glasses. But... I'm basically doing, if you're wondering what I'm doing, it's basically like if I design outfits for all, like base outfits for all the Vocaloids. And right now I have Miku, uh, Rin, Len, and Luca. And then I'm gonna do, do Miku, uh, Miko, Kaito, uh, Gumi, and then Teto for funsies. Even though Teto is not a Vocaloid. Uh, I feel like she deserves some spotlight because her new synth V is out and it sounds so good. How's the music sounding now? But I need to. I'm, I'm basically starting from from base with uh, Len and Luca. I need to work on the line art and then you know color both of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get both of them done today, but I am definitely will probably get Len done in this, uh, in this sitting. I've been getting really into fashion as of late, because I've been kind of delving into, um, you know, what I want to do when it comes to what I wear. And honestly, it's been really fun. Just noticed a shitty line right here, and I'm gonna fix that. Um, and so I wanted to do some some quote unquote fashion design for all the Vocaloids. You know what they say: do one for them, one for you. Yeah. Look, it, it's fun. And the th okay, I. I have a personal opinion about this, and I'll I'll, I'll state it when when I start drawing. But my personal opinion about 
something is something that most people will probably not agree with, at least in the art community. Very nice fade in. I, I that fade in with that new song was fantastic, otherwise known as not. But my personal opinion is that you know how like on Tumblr people will like do redesigns of characters from like TV shows. I'm drinking a carbonated drink and I'm really trying not to make gross noises right now. I'm trying to like get it out of me. Um but you know how people will like do I'm trying not to, leave me alone. Um because that's gross and unprofessional. But you know how people on like Tumblr Twitter uh, too, but like especially Tumblr, uh, Tumblr I would notice it there. W will like do redesigns of like characters from TV shows. I don't like that. <laughs> now, let me explain to you why I don't like that. And why I don't like that is because in my opinion, when I think when I see some a, a character from a TV show, in the back of my mind, my brain says that is somebody's character. Which it is. Somebody designed that character. Somebody put love and care into making that character who they are. And when you go and like, be like, oh, I actually think it would be better if this, this character had like, uh, fucking, I don't know, look like this and have like, this look to them that totally does not look like their normal character design because I think that would look better. In my mind, I don't like that. I think that pisses me off a little bit in my brain because, like, if somebody went up to me, took my character and was like, hmm, I actually think that your character would look better if they looked like this. I would be like, no, for one. And for two, that's my character, don't touch them. I designed it how I wanted to design it. And you have no creative liberty in this decision, so shut up. So when I see that kind of stuff on Twitter, when people like cha drastically change a character from like their original character design, it's not even like outfits. I don't give a shit about outfits. If you give a character like a different outfit, I don't care. But when you like crazy change a character design because you think it looks better, I think that's rude. Just from an artist etiquette stand standpoint, I just it, in my mind it just feels rude. So I don't I don't usually like doing that kind of thing. Um however, there's a very special thing about Vocaloid, and that's the fact that, that Miku was built to be changed. Like, her main outfit is like, kind of a base standpoint with her. It's just like, when she's not something else, it's just how she is. But like her voice she can be made and changed to fit whatever you want or whatever the the artist the musician whatever however they want and i think that's really cool and so i don't have that kind of feeling when i do this with miku or vocaloid adjacents because i mean this is kind of just how they were built I agree in the case of I made it better mentality, but overall when folks make their own take on characters how, how they like it's fine. Again, I, it's an unpopular opinion and look, I'm not gonna shit on people's parade. It, if they want to ch change characters, I'm not gonna go and flame them in the comments and be like, no, yeah, I, I think it's stupid when you change characters because that's stupid and I don't like it. 
that just makes me sound like a grandma. Which I am, but I want- I would rather be a cool grandma than, like, a mean grandma. <laughs> so, like, I'm not gonna shit on people if they do that. It's just, for me, if somebody asked me to do that, they're like, hey, I want you to change- I don't know, I see this a lot in the My Hero Academia community, even though I'm not really in it anymore, but if they were like, hey, I want you to change, like, all the characters in that community, um, or in that, like, fucking cast, whatever. I don't even watch that show anymore, but I'm just using it as an example, because I see it a lot there. Uh, I would be like, no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Oh, hearing this music reminds you of some uh, Dutch TV channel used the Me Channel song for some reason. Really? I mean, kind of bass, not gonna lie. Also, look at this eyeliner on Len. Go crazy, go stupid. <sighs> Makes me kind of want to add something to Rin. Let's see how that looks. I just kind of like flare out her, her lash line a little bit. That's cute. I'll be honest, that's cute. And you know what? I'm keeping it. <laughs> no no doubt Nintendo would nuke them from orbit if they knew. Yeah. Probably. Do the animate mouth dark shit. I'm I'm doing a full mouth. <laughs> I'm, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'll just do like less of a a blush on male characters. I don't know why I just do. Oh, I think I gave him, like, that kind of brow, but it's covered by his hair. You should have seen the, the Pinterest es escapade I went on, uh, finding outfits or, like, outfit ideas for these guys. Like, oh my god, that was an incredibly fun adventure that I went on. Pinterest is so amazing for that kind of thing. Need to see a drawing, uh, to see a drawing stream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been a while. It's just, I feel like it's boring. And also, the reason, uh, how, how am I? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna answer that question and then I'm gonna go on to the other one. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. I slept good. That's always a good thing. But, um, <clears> the <throat> reason I, I don't do drawing streams very much, even though I do like them, is because one, near the end of the drawing, I start fi losing conversation. And I can't, like, comment on stuff. Like, I can comment on a video game because I'm just drawing. And so I kind of lose my shit. And then it just becomes me being silent and just being like this. It's just that the entire time. Um, so, yeah, and also I don't really have, sometimes I only have like, is it, it's just a chill ice cream, well, that's good that people like that. But sometimes I only have one day of the week to stream. And I usually, if, if I have to choose what I do with that one day, it's usually um, like, I choose the the main game that I'm streaming instead of a, a variety thing. And talking about that, actually, uh, next month I'm only going to be able to stream on Friday, which pisses me off and it makes me really mad. But I'm only going to be able to stream on Friday and I'm pissed. 
background audio, basically. Yeah. I do like myself some good fucking background audio. I don't know why I swore in that sentence. There was really no need for me to swear in that sentence, but I guess uh, the micisms are coming out. That's good. Why do I not do like a line up here for. Also, some people draw Len with a ponytail, some people don't. I, I like the little ponytail. Mostly because of the fact that none of the other male vocaloids have longer hair. And, and even then, this isn't even that long. So, I, you know what? I'm keeping it. It's staying, and that's how it's gonna happen. Also, <clears throat> With, with Rin, I know her little thing is usually a really big one, but I decided to put it on the side because it's a little less, like, out there, you know? Which is really funny, because Teto's new design is literally this, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's wearing Persona pants? Yeah, they're gonna be the exact same colors, uh, as, uh, Rin's. Since... Look, okay, so controversial topic coming up among Vocaloid fans, but, uh... <laughs> so, these characters are Kageman, uh, Kageman Rin and Kageman R Len. But, to a lot of people, they don't- they're not siblings, even though they look exactly alike, which makes no sense to me. And I guess Krypton Future Media, which is people that, like, you know, distribute the voice banks, were like, oh, we're not gonna, like, make a statement whether they are brother and sister, even though they pretty much obviously are. And I feel like that was just kind of a PR thing. Because if they did say, oh, yeah, they are brother and sister, all the fucking weird people that ship them together are gonna look really weird, <laughs> you know? And, like, they already look weird. They already look weird. But if it is, like, confirmed, hey, uh, <laughs> they are brother and sister, they're gonna look really weird. But, I mean, like, and that would mean adolescence would be omitted. But the thing about, like, some songs, like, Kokoro, which is a very popular song, usually omits the fact that the doctor in the song is actually Len. You only really know that it's Len if you watch the original music video from like 14 years ago. So that's fine. But the thing about adolescence is that like, the fact that it's even sh like added to most like Niku games is really weird to me because if you don't know, Adolescence is a song that uses the same backing track from a Miku and Kaito song called Cendrillion, which is, you know, uh, <clears throat> it, it, it's Cinderella. It's just a song, like a Cinderella song, love story song, and it uses the same backing audio. But the thing is, the song is sus as fuck. And some people think, oh, it's about, like, Len and Rin falling in love. But the thing about that is if you read the lyrics, they are brother and sister in the song. Like, they didn't just say, oh, we're gonna forget about the part that they're brother, uh, that they seem like brother and sister and just make them not. I I've seen that. But, nope, the person that wrote it definitely wrote them as brother and sister. And man, some of those lyrics are so sus, bro. They are so sus. Hold on, I- <laughs> I wonder if I can get some of the- I, I don't- I wonder if I should even read these. Cause it's, they're very sussy. <laughs> okay, I, I have some. Uh, I might only read one. From now on, uh, from now on we will sleep in separate beds. You whisper to me good night. As you turn the doorknob and open the door, I kiss your extended fingers. In that instant, an impulse rushes through my spine. Bruh moment? 
<laughs> what? Ao? <laughs> and I'll read only one, uh, one other sentence. Only one other sentence. Our private time is unknown to daddy and mommy. That's all I'm gonna read. I'm not gonna read any more than that. That's it. You you, you do with that sentence what you will. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't know why this song is included with, like, it's, it's in Project Mirai, it's in Project Diva, like, why? <laughs> I don't know why it's, like, that, that much of, like, an impact, like, I, I understand Kokoro, and that's an easy change, because it's just like, oh, just admit the fact that the scientist is, is, is Lin easy he's not in the song like he doesn't sing it it's just um it, it's just Rin that sings it so okay we can just admit that part and the worst part is I made a tweet about this what did I say in the tweet because I was playing Project Mirai and the fucking description for adolescence made me laugh and the description for adolescence was Set to the same tune as Cendrillon. This is a tale of the feelings between a brother and a sister raised together. <laughs> oh, there are feelings all right. <laughs> and, and the thing is, the thing is, especially about Project uh, Mirai, is that you don't have the English lyrics, it's just the Romaji. So you have to trust that little description that they have there. You have to trust it. Because there are no English lyrics. <laughs> so if you don't know the song, you're just gonna be like, aww. It's just a song between a little brother and sister. That's so cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. It's like the second half of Sword Art Online, where Kirito's adopted sister starts thirsting over him while not knowing it's him. <sighs> this is why I never watched Sword Art Online, bro. I'm so glad I stayed out of that series. But you know what series I didn't stay out of? <laughs> fairy Tale, bro. I was- I used to be a huge Fairy Tale fan. It's not my proudest moment, I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> I didn't know what good anime was, <laughs> so I watched Fairy Tale, and I was like, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> it wasn't crazy. I'm so glad that at a point I started thinking, oh, this show actually sucks, <laughs> and I just stopped watching it. That's better. So, um, SAO was good for the first half of season one, and that's it. The SAO abridged is genuinely good and better than the real dub. Oh, I'm sure. I feel like abridged dubs can sometimes be funnier. And just, like, overall better. It's because you actually have to put talent in to be funny. That's the thing. You can't just, like, be funny. You actually have to, like, be good at voice acting to be funny. It's not just like a pay, uh, a pay to win kind of thing. You have to put talent in there. And so when, when people do like abridges, they're usually really good dubs because they have to be good at voice acting to be able to be funny. There you go. Well, that looks kind of nice. I like that. You know, I blow air in when I whistle. People find that weird. I, I explain that to, to someone. 
and, and he was like, how do you whistle? And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't blow out when I whistle, I blow air in when I whistle. And he was like, what the fuck are you, is this fucked up? Or am I, I, does this song have like dual headphones? Because I like took my- I have my left headphone off because if I have one headphone on or like both heads, headphones on it fucks me up because I can't hear myself think. No, this song's fine. I guess the song just has dual headphones. Yeah, weird. I thought the song was fucked up. I'm like, did they just slip in like a weird version in here? Just to fuck with me? No. You mean stereo? Yeah, that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I I just need like one headphone off, otherwise I can't hear myself. Or a germa situation, if you will. But, yeah, I blow- I, I air in when I whistle. <laughs> No air. No air out. Cheesy, I hate Florida old people. I mean, me too, bro. <laughs> Who doesn't? They they can they can be weird. The OHA where uh, where you lived has injured you for the second time, deadass. More lyrics from adolescence. Oh, we're going more into this? I thought this conversation ended. <laughs> the time that pop mop, uh, Papa and Mama don't know. The heat that reaches through the thin towel. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's so bad. That's so bad, bro. <laughs> the same bed was shaking. Man, I really hope that they were just just messing around, bro. No, wait, no. That's not what I should say in this situation. I have one little monkey on the bed. And he jumped and now he's dead. Two little monkeys on the bed. You know, they're just jumping around. Nothing sus happening. God, that's so horrid. <laughs> you want me? <laughs> I ain't, I ain't even reading that one. VOD watchers, we're just gonna have to like assume like assume what happened. I'm not reading that. That might be Google Translate. I really hope that is. I always like drawing the folds and pants. I don't know why. No, that looks weird. <laughs> Wait a second, that looks weird. It's not... Wait, I'm just doing the same thing. No. You gave him a bolt. I didn't mean to! <laughs>
Also, do note that these are the official ages. I want people to know this. And now take these ages into the lyrics of adolescence. Like just just put take take those ages into consideration when you think about the lyrics to adolescence. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> you like the yellow on the Miku? Thank you! Bro, I... When I was fucking around with this palette so much, I really did not know what to do with it. And I had this color. And I, I was gonna do red instead of the yellow. But the thing about it was that... I... If I... If I did the red, that would just be her normal palette. I wanted to do something different. So, I, I fucked around with yellow, and you know what? She looks like... She, she looks like a drink. She looks like a cocktail. There's a special cocktail that is... Liter that literally looks like her hair here. And I don't remember what it's called, but it looks so fucking good, and I want it. It's like a tropical cocktail. And I love this palette so much. Fucking turquoise and yellow look so nice together. I, I just, I adore. Big fan. Like, when I came up with that palette and I put in the flats, I'm like, I fucking love character design. If you're, if you're an artist, Pina Colada, yeah. Like... When, when I did that, I thought to myself, man, how do artists hate being artists? Because this was like the best feeling ever. Like fucking instant serotonin when I figured out that palette. I was like, oh my god, I just, I, I, I did it, Reddit. <laughs> I really did it. She's a vocalata. True though? Honestly, vocaloid designs based on cocktails would be kind of cool. That would honestly be so cool. Mm, I don't know if I should do this. Or. I'm thinking about how I want this to look. did this. Who? That works. That works. That works. I feel like the right shoe is kind of small. Yeah, I felt that too. I was going to extend it. I just never did. of art truly the power of art we we live in a society you know what i heard you know what crazy thing i heard lately on the internet on the interwebs shoe enlargement <laughs> okay so so get get this so furry artists, starting off with a doozy already, I guess on fur affinity, are saying that when you're, when you're 
uh, fucking commissioning an artist, what you should do is ask for a sketch, and only a sketch, and then just have an AI color it for you. Doesn't that sound cool? Isn't that such a cool proposition? I thought that sounded fucking... <laughs> really cool. <laughs> and I hope you can tell the sarcasm in my voice when I say that. I, I, I saw that and I'm like, man... Why? <laughs> Fucking just why? <laughs> Wait, this 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 leg feels smaller. This leg feels smaller. I have an idea. I have a crazy idea. <gasps> Whoa! Fucking wild. You've heard worse, but your brain blocked those memories. Like, man. Do we really have to stoop that low, bro? <laughs> do we really have to do that? Why can't we just pay artists? Is it that hard to pay people? Actually, yes, apparently it is. Also, this one should actually be higher than this one. <laughs> I just thought about it, cause like this this foot would be farther forward, so that would make it higher. Ooh. That's enough. Yes, art should be free. Honestly, though, <laughs> so true. <laughs> I, I I truly do ha hate having to pay for art. Truly, not my favorite thing to do. should be higher as well. So I'm just gonna... And why it's higher is because this foot is more far forward. So it means that per the per perspective would make it so that the other foot gets farther back. You know what? I don't like drawing. I'm gonna say it. I don't like drawing shoes. I hate drawing shoes. I don't like drawing feet and I don't like drawing shoes. Sorry for all the shoe drawers, otherwise known as the entire Splatoon community. If the shoe isn't exactly perfect, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> Nothing is perfect in this world. We can't all be perfect. It looks fine. All that matters. We're all a little fucked up in our own ways.
I don't mind hands. I really don't. But shoes, though. And feet. Got him! Oh shit! Oh shit! I don't like these. I don't like them. I'm changing them. Because I don't like them. I don't think the sweatpants works in this situation. Maybe they can be rolled up, but I don't think sweatpants really work. And I think I'm gonna change it because I don't like it! Here we go. Sorry for not reading. I am very focused on these pants. They will look good. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. How I like these. It's like how I, I make- I, I set up my outfits for the day. I just look at myself and I'm just like, I don't like that, and then I change it, and then I fix it, and I'm like, mm, I like that more. And that's how I make my outfits for the day. Okay, let's see. I like that more. Chat, I have, I have, I have something I need to do. His left hand has a weird finger. Which finger? Mm, you're right. You're kind of right. Let me. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right, chat. Okay, before I miss with his finger, I'm just gonna zoom in on his face so it looks like I did nothing wrong. And I'm gonna run to the bathroom very quickly. I'll be right back. And then I'll fix his finger. I promise. Guess what? I'm back. Fastest pisser on the on, on on the earth. Absolutely fastest pisser. Give me in on the the the, the world record channel. You left your mic on. Fuck! We heard everything. God damn it! Fuck. They know my secret now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn, girl, you cry, you fried chicken in there? You piss loud as fuck. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing the un unthinkable. I'm looking at her reference picture. Oh my god. Get her ass. She's cheating. <laughs> I can't believe my clown, my clown would cheat. It's not cheating, guys. I'm letting that be known. If you need to look at reference photo, it's okay. It's not cheating. I've been drawing for like my life and I still use reference photo. It's okay. We've all been there. Ah, it's a finger. This finger looks weird. That sounds rude of me. I think this is more what I'm looking for. Man, I love stock photos. Stock photos are like, God. it is cheating. I'm telling. Fuck! No! No, don't tell the teacher! No, no, no! I don't want to fail! Anything, anything. This thing needs to be more like this. That was a fun- <laughs> that was a fun noise. Is that better? Is that- is that better? Does that look better? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, great. Now we get rid of this one. Bye bye. No, wait. We have to do that. We have to do this well. Because if we don't, it's just gonna like not look good. Oh. <laughs> okay. We gracefully get rid of this hand. Make room. Oh fuck! That wasn't the line I was supposed to get rid of. redraw this for no other purpose other than to satisfy my self-satisfaction. <laughs> no tangent lines in this house! like no tangents in this house. Fuck that shit. Nuh-uh. That's better. Good. Lint. Actually, would be one color that I would name it. That goes there, and then we just put this in one 
big thing. Just name this Glenn. It's. I can't believe you commissioned Cheesy to draw 14 year olds. Freak! <laughs> Joke's on you. I barely know Miku lore. It's probably a good thing. Honestly. Honestly, probably a good thing. I do like how Len's eyes look. Big fan. You know, one thing I've been enjoying adding on my recent pieces. Hold on, let me, like, shed my jacket because I'm hot. Is the, the little tear ducts on the eyes. I've been enjoying adding this. I don't know why. It just looks cool. I like it. Maybe that's because, uh, maybe that's because of the fact that, uh, Persona has been a bit of an influence as of late. Why are you wearing a jacket in Florida? Because I'm in my house. <laughs> I can do whatever I want in here. It's true. I usually have it cold. I keep it to like... 68. Maybe, maybe 70. I think it's 70 right now. Based? Based. Honest to God. I like it cold. The fact that I'm even still alive in this state is, like, beyond me. I don't know how I haven't died yet. Of <laughs> fucking heat. I don't do well in the, in, in the heat. 69 is good too. Yeah, 69 is like a good middle ground. If like, if 70 is too warm and 68 is too hot, you just set it to, to, to 69. Sometimes when I'm sleeping though, I get like really hot when I sleep and I can't sleep when I'm hot. So I set it to like 66. So that means like I can get nice and warm under my covers. Because I like to feel warm under my covers. I don't like to feel hot under my blankets, you know? That's not cool. That is, in fact, ungamer. I like how this belt looks. I think that looks nice. Let's just yoink her skin tone. Because I said so. <laughs> I'm crazy. Absolutely bonkers. I'm crazy. Okay. So they're they're so they're related. In my okay, in in my mind they are basically related. To a lot of people they're not. To me they are because they're basically they look exactly the same. All right, dead ass. Okay. It's not like they have like different skin tones and different hair colors. Let me show you what these two people look like. Okay, let me give you, let me give you an example of, of what these two look like. Nice PNG, but you know. Ah, yes! These are not brother and sister, they are lovers! Look at that! Definitely, definitely not brother and sister, even though they look exactly the same, have the same skin color, have the same outfit, have the same hair color, have the same eye color. Nope! Not related at all! Definitely not. Mm -mm. I don't see it. Resemblance isn't there. Don't don't see that at all. That's crazy. What? They're related? Get out of here. That's stupid. No, they're not. Steal the color and Miku. Miku's tear duct. Uh oh, I colored the eye color on the same. Way. 
Wait, the what the fuck? Did I not put in the fucking eye color? Oh, I'm stupid. This is why I do this. Dead ass, this is why I do this. Because I can never tell. There. More on one end. Okay. I put in the two depth. Isn't that crazy? Is she supposed to be the blonde? Uh, is she supposed to be the blonde girl from the Baku Miku song? Yeah, I th I think yeah, because that one it, triple Baka. That one is Miku, Tero, and Rin. I think. No, okay, no, that actually is not. Uh. That is not Rin. I forgot. That's another uh, Yutao. So, in Triple Baka, there's a girl that kind of looks like Miku, but she only has one pigtail to the right, kind of like a misty kind of thing, but it's like really long. I don't remember her name, but she is basically a free vocaloid. Tedo is also a free vocaloid. They're not made by the Vocaloid company, but they're basically the same thing. So she's bass. Yeah. The thing about Tedo was actually she got a, um, she has the fucking, she has the drill hair. She actually got her own voice bank recently that is called a Synth V voice bank. Which sounds like basically incredibly human-like. Like to the point where it's kind of scary sometimes. And it's really good. And the crazy thing about Tedo was she was actually made for an April Fool's joke by, by 2chan. Mm -hmm. To like make a satire on Miku. Which is really funny how she has her own like voice bank that is actually astronomically better than Miku's. <laughs> At least, um, in a- in a technical standpoint. But anyway, good stuff. Her- her normal voice bank is actually still out, though. So, you can actually still use the free one. If you want. Which is really cool, in my opinion. That sounds brand for Ch Chan stuff. Yeah, it does. But they basically like designed her and gave her like a, a, a voice actress and s set it up and now she's basically just free to use. Which is, which is honestly really cool. I think these two are gonna have the same palette since they normally have the same palette. 2chan is wacky from what I- from what I know. Yeah, they're- they're pretty wacky on there. Um, I know they have like a- or used to have a kind of trend where <clears throat> they would take an image that's pretty normal and call it the make me cute trend. And so the artists on 2chan would basically go and just make it more and more fucked up. And apparently that's where the old Jeff the Killer image came from, the original one before, like, Jeff the Killer was made into Jeff the Killer. There's also a doll with, like, bleeding eyes that is pretty well known as well. I'll do this here. Not there. Color. His has a little thing, but hers doesn't. I think I might change that. It's nice to see standards. You know, so, uh, 
you you know something that you found really funny and kind of cool is that you browsing and you notice a lot of um a lot of like drawing requests threads saying that they don't use ai stuff honestly honest to god kind of based honest to god kind of based Don't got don't get Twitter catch me saying that, but that's kind of based. Not gonna lie. And it's it is nice to see standards. They know what they want. They want quality work. They don't want dog shit. They want quality. I'm telling Twitter, no, my reputation. <laughs> I'm ruined, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm ruined. I'm fucking ruined. Okay, this skirt is gonna be really fun to, to redo. <laughs> so which layer was the skirt on this one? Okay. Let's just take off all the stuff. So it is this color. Yeah. Grab the pants. One, two. I think that's good. You know what? I just realized I forgot something. Forgot his nails, bro. He's got them shits painted, bro. He canonically has painted nails. I'm just going with the trend, bro. They all have painted nails, I think. You're surprised by that? It um it helps that like on uh, slash co and shit that there are tons of genuine artists and stuff. That's kind of cool, though. Look, they may be weird, but they have standards. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Unless it comes to women, then the desperation sets in a little bit. <laughs> There's even a point that Lauren Faust even po posts on Fortune. It really shows how much of a range that website has. Isn't that crazy? Eighty. Look, I mean, like, if that's where your audience is, why not advertise to it? I just realized this fucking No, I want my fucking eraser. There we go. See another little point. Got him! I mean, in the end, it's a marketing strat. You do what you gotta do to survive on the internet. Vine sauce too? Oh yeah! Minecraft got popular originally in 4chan. Same with Undertale. They're- they're crazy fucks over there. I don't think everybody on there is probably all bad, though. I feel like some people just use it for the anonymity. Of course! <laughs> like every website! There definitely are some bad people. But, you know. I just don't get, uh, like, so sometimes people are just like, oh my god, it's all bad. Look, if you say it's all bad, then I guess, uh, like, the members of Vine Sauce are bad because they started on 4chan. Is that true? I don't think so. At least to me. They seem like nice people. 
from what I've, from, you know, what I've experienced talking to them. So, you know. It's true, Vinny advertised his first Chrono Trigger stream on 4chan. Wanda, I think Brissa was his first viewer, right? So. <clears throat> She's also like a, a lurker there, I think. I spoke to Imakuni about that once, and she lurks uh, the the Sonic General and VG. Look, sometimes they have some some interesting thoughts. Sometimes they have some interesting thoughts about video games. Sometimes they're wrong. <laughs> Look, sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes they're very wrong, and I don't agree. But you know. And look, sometimes they have sometimes they have the goods. You know. <laughs> If anybody, if any site has the the goods, and by that I mean games gotten completely uh, by legal standards, and media gotten by legal standards, it, it's 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 there. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Why does it look like that? Honestly, Twitter is just as bad as 4chan sometimes. Oh, I agree! I fucking agree. But then, like, you know, babies, like, actual babies on Twitter will be like, Wah! Wah! No, it's not! No, we're not that bad! He looks like a bee right now. He's not gonna- I swear, he's not gonna look like a bee later. We're working on it. He looks like a bee. <laughs> Get the fuck bees! Dun, 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 dun. He looks even more like a bee than like Rin did when I was coloring her skirt. I wonder why he looks more bee like. It's okay guys, it's plaid, it's gonna look fine in a minute. Let me pull that down a little bit more. When is this song gonna change? I mean the violin is very nice and all, but like we we, per we it's been, it's been a while. This is not the longest loop. <laughs> Man, he looks like a bee! Damn, he looks like a bee. Okay. Eight. No, wait. Eighty. It was eighty. Okay, I'm s I'm fucking skip skipping this song. It goes on for so long. Oh my god, it goes on for so long, bro. like 30 minutes later fucking finally that was like half of the video bro damn can you draw antennas on him <laughs> like she doesn't look that bee like her her dress doesn't look that bee like but for some reason his pants look really bee like hold on i will i will abide this request for now The 
fish. <laughs> there we go. Now he's a bee. Perfect. It, yeah, it doesn't look that bad to be honest. Like if you if if one was doing like a bee costume, I think it works. Where's her skirt pattern? There it is. So that's thirty-four percent going up and down. Okay. <laughs> This is a really short- Okay. I don't like that song that much. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip it, mostly. It annoys me. Oh god. Chat! Chat, when is Mother's Day? I just got like an email from fucking fr from Amazon telling me that I should shop for Mother's Day gifts. When is Mother's Day? Why is this song so loud? The 14th of May? Oh god. I don't want to shop for Mother's Day gifts, chat. Do I have to? Actually, I don't. Look, everybody, everybody be nice to your moms, you know? If your mom is nice. Hmm? I've never heard of this, let me see. Do you- do you mean like the pants? Cause I, I've never heard of that. Uh, like the style? Cause if you mean the pants, they're going to be plaid. I, I'm just making fun of the bee aspect of it right now because it kind of looks very bee-like. You don't have to make- <laughs> you don't have to if you- if you make sure you don't have a mother. Yeah. Yeah. Probably just gonna it's probably just gonna say happy Mother's Day and be over with it. <laughs> Not a very big fan of holidays like that. <laughs> At least you could do something easy, like draw your mom or something. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna keep it simple. I got issues, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really like the holiday. <laughs> Look, mom is big boy. <laughs> That's great, sweetheart. <laughs> Better. It looks a little less bee-like. We're getting there. Plaid is always really hard to draw, to be honest. TBH. It's a very complex pattern.
<laughs> that is a good emote. Yeah, it's looking a little better. A little less bee-like. We're, we're getting out of the bee territory. I genuinely don't know. Did you technically make that one? I don't remember what- how that garlic phone went. Was I there for that one? I don't remember if I was there for that one. Cause there were quite a few of them I wasn't there for. No, the second to last frame was you. Look at that. You made a big... I change this to 34. Okay. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. You insist friend is yellow? That's green! <laughs> that is like a lime green. It's not yellow, it's green. Now, this is a very interesting discussion that I, I want to get into. Now, this is green. This is also technically green, but in a little bit, here, that's highlighter yellow. Now, people don't agree that this is highlighter yellow, even though it's on the yellow part of the thing. It's in yellow. How do you know the emote is green if you're colorblind? The middle color is yellow green. Yeah, this is yellowish green, but this is yellow. This is green. Green. Okay, look. Look. Do you see this? It is on the color wheel where it is in green. This is in the green territory. <laughs> How, okay, what else do I have to do for the skirt? Alright, the white. I feel like these lines on the right are thinner than the ones on the left, and it's kind of bothering me a little bit. Okay. 
There you go. Back to 34. Those go like right there. So the first two are technically green and the third one is yellow, so Clown Girl is red. YES! Fucking take that, all of my in-person friends that fucking think that color is- GREEN! It's not green, it's YELLOW! I swear to god, it is a discussion among, like, me and some of my, like, in-person friends where they're like, uh, it's actually, uh, green, not yellow, stupid. Suck it. Okay, so that's, like, the white. Can I just, like, campiness? Just like copy and paste this pattern under here because I don't feel like doing it again. Hmm. I might have to do it again. line. This is how I make patterns, guys. It's a fucking pain in the ass. <laughs> I sure love this process. I definitely wanted to do this again. Got him. Okay, now we just take the white. Put that in there. It's like screen. Watch them right now, right? 16. Pants done! Yeah! Look at that! Good shit. Now he don't look like a bee no more. Well, he kinda does, but... It's okay. He, he's he's out of the B territory. This is this is the the, the thing, right? Yeah, it is. I should like do this down here. does not know how to fucking end songs. I'm changing playlists. This playlist is annoying me. Like, they just keep songs going for, like, way too long. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> you really like how this is turning out? Thanks. Thanks. Voice crack. For these two, since they are 14, I wanted to do some punk middle schooly, <clears throat> but not too punky. I wanted to keep some white in there to like even it out. 
So they got a punk vibe vibe to them, but they're not like, you know, they're not like rebels. They're not like going out in the street and like beating people alive, you know? That kind of thing. And I want his shoes to be black. I also need to take out that little bit of white there. So that's not supposed to be there. Wait a fucking second. There we go. <clears throat> These kids look like if Link and Zelda made normal kids, but more from the father's side. He- he's definitely a little Linky. He's definitely a little lanky. Make his socks white. Pick out the screen, grab that. What if I do this? Do I like this? Because I don't like the socks like that, because that's just too much yellow. I'm begging to be signing myself out of my desktop right now. I almost did that like four times. I think that's good. I think that's cool. Because I didn't want to like do too much of the same. There you go. It's pretty gamer, pretty cool. I enjoy. I think that looks nice. Now I'm gonna do something really quick. Just grab. You may be wondering, what are you doing, fucking moron? Well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it in blue. Just doing the outline real quick. Just for funsies. I don't like leaving open spots like this. I find that they look really, like, they just look weird to me. I don't like how they look. Some people do it, I, I, I know, I know likey. So we're gonna take Miku out. Bye Miku. Take her out back. And grab this color. down a little bit shade 20 and do the same with this one here shade save just in case it crashes turn that to 10 Look at that. Ain't that just beautiful? That's what I call some good shit. <laughs> See, the difference between- actually, I think this is a little too open. Like, the difference between this and what that was, that, that little opening, was that it annoyed me. Because it was just so small. Now, you can actually do this here. 
Because this opening is big enough to actually see through. But like this opening was like so small, it was like, it's like this. Actually, it was even like less than that. It was like really thin like this. I don't like that. That's really annoying, so I got rid of it. There you go. It's nice. So now we can get on to coloring. Ooh, we have 30 minutes left before I end the stream. So speed run mode. Is me are Miku's files open? No, they're not. I just have a lot of layers. <laughs> How do I even find myself around here? Go up to her. Where is this? That's her skin. Got it. Grab this color that I've been using throughout. Gotta stay consistent. That's for his nails. This was a very interesting choice to shade it like the light coming from like this way. <laughs> or like, sorry, this way. And then the shadows being on this side of the face. That was a very interesting choice for me. Not sure if it was the best choice, but... <clears throat> You know. Oops. Already too far gone, so... Really can't do much about it. Oh wait, my bad. Should be good. He have a. He should have one. Like a... I don't want to do it too dark because I feel like if I do the this a little too dark, it'll look too like old and masculine. And since he's a uh, he's a bit younger, I don't want something looking like I don't want him looking like really old. I usually keep creases out of, uh, younger characters. Why did I do this stuff in Miku? This. Very nice, very nice.
cuckoo. There we go. And now, the second part is doing another layer. Then, grabbing a orange. Make this a little like that so you can actually see it. Going over the edges with this orange. I've been really enjoying doing this lately. I think it adds an interesting charm. I didn't want to do blue because I wanted more of a, 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 like, I didn't want too much of a cold hue on, on these characters. I wanted something a slight bit warmer, so I chose or, uh, purple. I feel like it's been treating me well. Now, Gaussian blur, all of them. Set this to 15. And now there's like a little bit of a hue. So I think I don't like that color as much. Maybe it needs to be more reddish. There we go. And then to accentuate these highlights, going in with an airbrush and just kind of going all around. You gotta be careful with airbrush and shading because of the fact that if you put too much airbrush on there and then leave it too opaque, your, your, your drawing is suddenly gonna look like it's done by an eight-year-old. You really don't want that. Go over them with a Gaussian blur again. Kind of blur the shade out, shade out a little bit more and set that to 10. Set this back to 15. Now those colors are just slightly more accentuated. Ta-da! Let's give him some slight blushing. Give some personality to his face. Someone's elbow too. little on the forehead. Then we'll go in here with an orangey tone and on the lips. Very subtle, nothing too crazy. It's just slightly there if you look at it. Again, I don't want anything too crazy because he's not he doesn't seem like the lipstick wearing type. A little shine right there. Just stretch my back. Grab our color then just go in with the rim lighting my favorite part i always feel like they look good like that but as soon as you start adding the rim lighting at least with the style that i have that i've been using for quite a while it just looks really nice it adds a unique pop I always thought it just looked fun because it's like I never see stuff uh, like artists do this where they just rim light all of the shadows. It just adds a bit of uniqueness to my work and I enjoy. See, look at that. That looks nice. Mm. 
might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it definitely is mine. I don't know why I started talking into a tutorial voice. Just got into it. There you go. I think that looks good. Bring some life into the eyes. I usually don't use multiply layers when it comes to uh, the main shading. So if, if I turn off the multiply layer here, it's very, very, very subtle. That would not count as shading in my opinion. This is what I usually do. It's just I take the color, the color and just lower the opacity because I feel like I don't know. It just it doesn't do it for me. It's a, it adds in too many hues. I don't know. And it kind of changes the overall color. So I only use the multiply to add a little bit of something. <laughs> you think they look like me? <laughs> maybe her facial structure, maybe how I drew uh, Rin's facial structure. It is a how I drew it, it, it does look a little bit like my how I draw my facial structure. Because her face is very round. I did want to give a bit more variety in the facial structure of the characters, because they all, they all kind of delve into this territory. this. They're all kind of here. Where it's like sharp chin, whatever. But I wanted to kind of give a bit more structure to their chins and their face. So I wanted to round her face out a little bit more because she's a bit younger. And his is still round, but I wanted to give him a more defined chin instead of something like straight. And hers is like, hers is round, but it's definitely a bit more matured since she's like two years older. And I feel like Luca's is, is definitely more adultly. Facial structure can be hard when it comes to character designing, mostly because of the fact that it's very easy to like fall into the same face syndrome. How did I eat? What? I think I used to struggle with that, but I, I, I definitely tried to change it up. If they happen to look like me, it's definitely a coincidence. <laughs> I just wanted wanted something a bit more round for her. Just a little bit. Lovely. Look at that. Ain't that nice? That brings so much more personality to the eyes. What I want I, I wanted to do something interesting for their pupils. Cause in Miku's original artwork, her pupils are a little bit more defined. 
Like, they all have this very similar style, but hers are kind of drawn when it comes to coloring. Hers are like, let me put a little bit of white here. Hers are a bit like, a little darker than that. Too dark, a little lighter. Hers are kind of like this. That's a very Miku eye. However, Ren and Lin's a bit lighter, more on the teal, and they look more like this. Slightly darker. So, with that in mind, they're a bit, a bit more kind of robotic looking when it comes to their eyes, and I wanted to kind of accentuate that a little bit. So she has normal pupils, but Ren and Lin have kind of this circular thing in their eyes. So they look a little bit more kind of, kind of robotic or like permanent ring light syndrome in their pupils instead of having normal pupils. Though I could do something where it's like, do something like this. I don't like that as much. I think it looks fine as is. I feel like putting white in there is just a little too much. So, now we're on to hair. Which I very much enjoy doing. So, what I'm gonna do, is how I usually do hair, is I grab the skin tone I do a little wash over where the skin meets the hair. And I just down the opacity to like 35. And what I did for Rin was I kind of put a little burn at the edge of her hair. So I'll do that for him too. I'll set that to like 30. There you go. Then coloring, let me get the tone again. Okay. Tend to draw uh, anatomy akin to yourself because it's what you're used to seeing. Feels normal to you, changing your normal base is difficult. So you don't mind say base syndrome that much, it just takes time. Yeah, it does. And I definitely feel the same about the body thing. Um, I am a very thin person. I'm very thin. Um, so I draw, I tend to draw thinner characters. Um, and it, drawing characters with a bit more like weight to them is it's definitely a bit harder for me and think about thing about it is that um <laughs> because of how twitter is i worry that it, it if i if i do something wrong they're gonna get mad about it like if if i draw a character and i don't draw it correctly I, they're gonna get mad so I get a little scared, um, but it does take time and a lot of practice. Honestly, I should do more practice on characters that are not my body weight. You don't have social media, so you're free to draw anything you want. Based. Honest to God, based. And that, that's a- that's good. Especially if you like starting out 
and or like practicing drawing it's definitely good to get a name for yourself if you want to make it like a career or just want to share your art but i would say during the first part of the process maybe doing some like personal uh studies is better than just jumping into social media like right then and there And I can definitely, like, s say that I did that. I kind of jumped in. And I felt, I feel like I definitely shouldn't have. I should have spent more time working on my skill as an artist than just getting in there. Show us your personal studies. <laughs> no. <laughs> More orange. If I do like personal, quote unquote, personal studies, usually it's like, sometimes I'll study art styles. Like uh, I'll look at an art style and try to like mimic it a little bit and see if I can get any like s skills from it or notice anything that I'm like, oh yeah, maybe I should do that or incorporate that into my workflow. I don't usually post those if I do that. It's a little weird. I did post one that I did. It's just because I was really happy with it. Chill with your friends so you can get some, um, some of the dopamine so you continue ch chugging. It might get Pixiv or something after five to ten years of drawing. Pixiv is good. It's definitely good to have like a small group to share with though. Because, in my opinion, if you're just drawing, and you don't have anyone to, like, critique, you, then if there's something you need to learn, then you're never gonna learn that you need to learn it, you know? How are you gonna know that your facial structure is kind of off if there's nobody there to tell you? You know? In my in my mind, critique is always really good. Most artists tend to draw us uh, uh, to to self draw uh, naked to understand more about the um, more complex uh, about the complex of the body. Yeah, that's normal. Just new drawings in general are very normal. Looks nice. Look at that. I think that looks pretty nice. Very nice. My wife. There we go. Now it's just the bote. Bote. Did I not color this little black area here? Oh my god. Am I just now realizing this? I'm fucking 
failure. I'm a fucking failure. There you go. Better. Way better. Woo! Press with how fast you're coloring. I'm trying to osmosis some of that, that cheesy energy. I, 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 I draw pretty fast. Um, I mean, this was, I started this like two hours ago. From, from the sketch. I had a sketch. But I, I did the line art and flats and now coloring and it's been almost two hours so i've always been like this i don't know why I mean, I, i've had a tablet for like i don't know seven years so maybe that's why do a little thing here Careful with the osmosis, the cheese, uh, the cheese smells and it's salty sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Gotta be careful. The last thing you want is being smelly, you know. That's gross. That's icky! Ew! Very nice. Oh shit, we're at four. Damn. We're almost there though. Just gotta color the whole pants. Not too crazy. I love this pen. I just use this pen for fucking everything. I use this pen for shading. I use it for fucking... Like... Sketches. I use it for everything. This pen is awesome. It adds just enough texture that it's nice, and then it's just thick enough that it catches the lines. So nice. I like that I inverted the colors of these shoes. It's nice.
Oh, shit. I just noticed. Get out of here, you little shit! There we go. Look at that! Look at that! Oh! Oh my! Oh my god! It's beautiful. Change this down to 15 instead of 20 this time, because I said so. Because it's too dark if I do it at 20. Let's go over all of this. Not like that. This. Yes. I think I started doing this shading because I, I saw this type of shading on a piece and I thought it was really cool. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> and you know what? Looks good. Looks good, man. I love this game soundtrack. I love this game. <laughs> 10, but actually, let's figure out where these lines are. Where is this from? This is from Kirby's Epic, Epic Yarn. On the Wii. And also the 3DS, but we don't talk about that release. Is this your drawing? Uh, this is, a uh, Lin. Vocaloid. Miku. I promise I'm not a Vocaloid only artist now, I swear. It's just fun, okay? What did I set this lighting to? Because it looks... Okay, I set it to five. Yeah, that's why that's too bright over there. Vocaloid is fun, I get it. Yeah. They're just fun little guys. They're just fun little dudes just living in your Wi Fi, bro. Kind of like parasites though, so you, maybe you should like call somebody to like exterminate them, like get them out, because they're kind of like eating your Wi-Fi energy and that shit's not cheap. God, New Leaf music was so much better than New Horizons music, bro. It was so fucking good. We peaked at New Leaf music. What happened to New Horizons? Because they had, like, a really good game on their hands, and then they just never did anything with it. They had, like, one DLC pack, and that was it. They only updated it for a year, and then they got rid of it. Like, when they were like, oh yeah, we're having our final update, I was like, what? <laughs> they needed another year to dev it, but it didn't- but it had a deadline. Yeah, and like, when it came out, it was like... Man, this feels weird, because like, we're missing like, basic seasons, like Halloween and stuff. That really should be in the base game, but they're not. And it's like, why are they not in the game? 
it just felt really off. Hey, you know what? I'll finish this. And then I'll end the stream. Game made all the money it needed to just, uh, to just because of the early corona hype. Any more development would be wasted effort on their part. Yeah, I guess. It's so sad, though. They already put the bare minimum when it came out, so it's like... <laughs> Why would they want to put more? Though they did milk it a bit further with Happy Home Designer. Yeah, it's like the one DLC they had, which genuinely I did enjoy, mostly because I am a Happy Home Designer fiend, and like one of the only people on the planet that actually had Happy Home Designer on the 3DS and loved it. I have so many hours in that game. That was like one of my favorite 3DS games, man. And I already liked making places in, you know, um, in fucking New Horizons. Because the furniture options were really nice. You can make some really cool shit. And I made some cool places. I really liked the, some of the places that I made with the Happy Home Designer DLC. There we go. Looks nice. Pants are like some of my favorite things to draw because I really like drawing the creases and folds in pants. I feel like it, whenever you draw like the, un, the creases and folds in pants, they look really nice when they're done. Like, it's just satisfying. My... My plan with this is so... Is that whenever... When I get Luca done... I'm not gonna post this yet. I'm gonna wait until I do the... Ones with Kaito, uh, Miko, Gumi, and, um... And then we're gonna post them all at the same time. Cause, like, with this background that I made, it's like, this line is over here, so I'm gonna, like, copy the background and flip it over, and then it'll be the other side. And it'll look nice and evened out.
Like, I could do a part one and part two, but that just feels like edging, and I don't really want that. I just like posting th all, everything at the same time. It's probably more hype and excitement if I do it the other way, but I don't really care. Gorgian Blur. Set that to 10. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Ain't it all coming together? Almost done. And then we'll get to see him on the background. That'll look really nice. Lighten that color up just a little bit more. This looks nice. I'm very happy with this. This um, this sounds like Skyward, Skyward Sword music. No wait, this is either Skyward Sword or Breath of the Wild. One of the two. The trombone is very, um, Skyward Swordy. However, could be from Breath of the Wild if I'm incorrect. No, it is from Skyward Sword. I am right. Crimson Lost, Crim Crimson Loftwing. I am correct. Man, I'm awesome. See, I just knew it. The trombone was just a big, a, a big dead giveaway. Because I know they use trombone in uh, Breath of the Wild a little bit. Cool, cool, cool! Look at that! Now it's just the white parts, and then we'll be done. I'm absolutely cooking, bro. I am absolutely cooking. Cook in. Grillin. You can even call call me Grillin. Look at oh. Ok, 
Okay. Now I'll just go over with a little brightness. Set that to 10, 15. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I approve. There we go. Now one last thing I'm gonna do is to just go over some of these sections. Something like that. I think that's good. That's all I really need with this. Blur out the tops. Blur out the bottoms. Gaussian blur it. Adds just a little bit of shading. And I think that's good for the day. Let's turn on this background and see how this looks. Fucking awesome, that's how it looks. This is looking fucking gamer. If I do say so myself. You know what I forgot to add? My signature. I think I like it there. I think I'll put, move it here. There you go. I think that's good enough for today. I think that looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. The cast is is, is coming out good. Next is Luca, and then I get to design the ones for Miko, Kaito, Gomi, and Tito. So yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate it. Just been chilling, gaming, as they say. So, I think this is where I'm gonna end the stream. Um, thank you guys for showing up. I appreciate it. I'm going to change the where my mic is and now where my this is and uh, let's change this to buy. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I am going to send you guys off to somewhere else and before I send you guys off, let me Before I send you guys off, I want to say, oops, that my lovely pal, uh, Zerl, made a new cartoon, or new episode for his cartoon, so you should definitely go watch that. It's the second episode of Monkey Wrench, so go check that out. Anyways, I'm going to send you guys off to someone else, and I think I will send you guys off to Limes. She's playing Breath of the Wild. And 
I'll see you guys next time. Again, I can only stream on Friday, so oopsies. <laughs> next month is only on Friday, which sucks. So, yikes. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.